Hey, it's Jen with Backpackies.com. Today we are comparing the original NAC Series 1 to the newer NAC Series 2 expandable backpack. For this comparison, I have the medium size Series 1, which retails for $195, and the medium size Series 2, which retails for $225. Both of these backpacks are designed to be a one bag solution for everyday carry and travel. Thanks to NAC's expandable design that allows each bag to go from a daily carry size to a full on travel bag. So I'll be doing a deep dive and exploring what the differences are so you can make a better decision if you're trying to choose between the two. Now let's begin with the daily carry features. With the original series one NAC pack, you'll notice it has a lot of smaller outside pockets, which include a small fleece line pocket on the top, a bottom zip compartment for accessories with elastic loops for cables on the bottom. And finally, in the middle, we have NAC's signature V-style compartment. And inside, you'll have smaller pockets for things like business cards and other little items you need quick access to. When you take a look at the Series 2, you'll notice that these smaller pockets are missing. But in reality, what NAC did was combine all of these smaller pockets into one large organizer compartment. In this compartment is where you'll find a fleece lined pocket for glasses, loops for cables and pens, business card pockets, as well as a ton of larger pockets for things like chargers and accessories. Since all of the original pockets are combined into one, NAC was able to achieve a more streamlined look with the Series 2. Both NAC versions have a full-size main compartment for daily carry, which is separate from the travel compartment, which we'll take a look at later. When unexpanded, the Series 1 has a carrying capacity of 27 liters, while the Series 2 has a capacity of 24 liters. So you're going to get a little less internal storage with the Series 2. But both main compartments have a lot of the same features, like a fleece lined tablet pocket, and mesh pockets that line the walls of the compartment. Where the Series 2 wins is with the amount of pockets inside the main compartment. NAC has managed to squeeze a little bit more organization for smaller items in the Series 2. Moving on to the travel compartment. Both of these backpacks feature NAC's expandable design. To access the packing area, there is a hidden zipper that allows each bag to expand to its full capacity. When fully expanded, the NAC Series 1 goes from 27 liters to 39 liters, while the Series 2 goes from 24 liters to 35 expanded. The travel compartments are very similar in design. Both have mesh pockets and a compression area for clothing. Where they differ is in the overall packing room. Since the Series 2 has less internal capacity, you can expect this compartment to be a smidge smaller at only 11 liters, while the original NAC pack gives you 12 liters. In real terms, that's about the difference of a couple of rolled up t-shirts. Where these backpacks really start to differ is in the materials used. The original NAC pack uses 1200 denier two-tone polyester. This fabric is very hefty and robust. One of the things I've always liked about the original NAC pack is that it feels like great quality, and you can really tell that the fabric can take some abuse, which is great for a bag you'll be using daily. With the NAC pack Series 2, you have a complete overhaul of the exterior materials. The Midnight Black version, which I have here, uses a nylon that's woven with twist yarn for extra strength. It's also PU coated for water resistance. To compare the two fabrics, I would say that the fabric used on the Series 2 has more of a high-end feel, while the fabric on the original NAC pack feels a little bit more rugged. For the rest of the bag, NAC has decided to keep a lot of the same materials. On both versions, you have really smooth YKK reverse coil zippers. And both bags have antimicrobial lining on the inside. The main difference here being the bright orange print on the Series 1, and a more toned down gray print on the Series 2. Now let's go over a few more details. Both backpacks feature stowable shoulder straps that can be tucked into the back panel. 
But where the Series 2 improves is that it now includes a side handle, which gives you the option to carry the bag like a briefcase. The Series 1 only features a top handle but no side handles. Both backpacks also have hidden water bottle pockets on the side of the bag. The original Series 1 has a stretchy mesh design, and this mesh is actually what holds your bottle. As a result, you can fit a larger bottle like this 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, and it will stay in place. You won't be able to zipper the pocket shut, but it can be used for larger bottles in a pinch. The hidden water bottle pocket on the Series 2 replaces the mesh with an internal pocket design. This means that larger bottles won't fit at all, and you'll really be restricted to slimmer bottles. This is a detail to keep in mind if you like to carry larger water bottles. Then there is the laptop compartment. Both the Series 1 and Series 2 have a 15-inch laptop sleeve located right behind the back panel. This hasn't changed at all. The last difference I'll cover is with the back panels. The Series 1 uses a molded foam back panel while the Series 2 went with a memory foam back panel. If I'm going to be honest, I couldn't feel much of a difference between these two back panels. NAC does a really good job with both versions, and the pressure points and thickness are similar enough where they don't really feel different even when the backpack gets heavy. At least not for me. So this leaves us with the question, is the Series 2 worth the upgrade if you are considering a NAC pack? Because at the end of the day, you are looking at a more expensive bag that has a lot of the same features. My answer is that it really depends on what you want out of a backpack. If you're looking for a solid backpack that is a little bit more casual and that can be used for both daily carry and travel, go with the Series 1. Not only is it less expensive, but you do get more color options. And it also comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. You also get more internal capacity. The Series 1 is about 4 liters larger, without adding a lot of bulk surprisingly. The Series 1 only sticks out about a half inch more than the Series 2 when worn. So you are still getting a really great quality, streamlined backpack that can be used for both work and travel. But if you want to step up to something more refined, then the Series 2 might be the better option. Since NAC has combined a lot of the pockets, the Series 2 is a lot more minimalist, with less zippers and more toned down branding. The internal organization is also ridiculous. You really do get a lot more pockets on the inside of the Series 2 than you do with the original NAC pack. And although functionally both backpacks are very similar, there's just something about the addition of the Nappa leather and the outer materials that really elevates the Series 2. When it's time to reach for one of these backpacks, I usually end up using the Series 2 because it looks and feels so much nicer. It's really hard to explain in a video. It's something you have to feel yourself to really appreciate how nice this bag is in person. So that concludes this NAC Pack Series 1 versus Series 2 backpack comparison. I hope you found it helpful, especially if you're deciding between these two bags. For more backpack comparisons and buying guides, make sure to subscribe to the Backpackies channel or visit backpackies.com. Thanks for watching.